Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. We recently had a sweet vintage mountain bike roll through our shop, so we thought we'd check it out. We came across an issue that we actually have seen in a previous Tech Tuesday. What we see up at the stem is a front plate. We have a big differential between the gap at the top and the gap at the bottom. Let's look at this in more detail. First, by cutting off the handlebars of a road bike. We can see inside and now we see a large gap at the bottom. We see a very small gap at the top. What's the problem with that? Here, even if we use the manufacturer's <laughs> torque specifications, we have a problem. The tension of our bolt is actually pinching and touching here. It's not transmitting the load to hold the handlebar tight. But that's just one of the problems. The other one, remember, the axis of the thread should be square to the head. And now it's not, and that can bend the head. Worse than that, every time you turn it around, you're still bending the head. So let's fix it. We're going to loosen the top, and we're going to snug the bottom bolts. It's not necessary to use a digital caliper to measure each gap. A visual check will do. You can also feel. Feel the top gap, feel the bottom gap. If it feels the same, it's going to be the same. Then remember, as we tighten, we like to cross, cross, cross. We turn a slight amount. We cross down another slight amount. We go up. This maintains the gap. Gives us even pressure. Up again. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. We're there. One more for fun. That's what we have for you this week. We'll see you next time.